Okay, so in this video, we want to see, in the previous video, we saw what is the state of an object. The state is just, it's basically, it's temperature, it's shape, it's any kind of descriptor of, the, of an object. And we saw that when, when your kinetic energy changes before and after, then the state of the system changes. If the kinetic energy does not change, then the state does not change. But now what we want to do is we want to relate some kind of quantity to the state of an object. And this quantity we call internal energy. So the internal energy is an energy that is related to the, the state of an object. Okay? So, let's have a look at um, these two diagrams. We have an elastic collision and a totally inelastic collision. In an elastic collision, we have a certain initial kinetic energy and a certain initial internal energy and the internal energy is related to whatever the state is of these two objects. Now when we have an elastic collision we know that K1 must equal K2. So in an elastic collision the states or the state of the the two uh, objects does not permanently change and so there's no change in kinetic energy and there's no change in internal energy. However, in an ela inelastic collision, we can start off with a certain amount of kinetic energy. They collide, they begin to move with the same velocity. And so our kinetic energy after is less. So kinetic energy final is less than kinetic energy initial. But where did that change in kinetic energy go? That change in kinetic energy went to the change in internal energy. So that amount of energy that, uh, that was changed by the, in the kinetic energy was, in a sense, transferred into internal energy. So you can see here, delta K the negative of del delta K is equal to delta E, internal. So the amount that the, the kinetic energy changed is the same amount that the internal energy changed. Just the opposite sign. Okay. So let's see what it says here. In any inelastic collision, the states of the colliding objects change and the sum of their internal energies increases by an amount equal to the decrease in the sum of the kinetic energy. So we've got delta K plus change in internal energy is equal to zero. Okay? So what this is saying is that the energy of a system of two colliding objects does not change. Okay, you're saying, hold on, we just saw that things are changing. So here we'd like to introduce this. The, ener the total energy of a system is equal to your kinetic energy plus your internal energy. Um, but during a collision, this doesn't change. So K1 plus E internal 1 is equal to K2 plus E internal 2. That's what we're saying. Delta E, which is the total energy, this is the total energy of the system, does not change. Okay? Um, no, that's not right. Delta E is equal to 0. Okay? Which means that the total energy before is equal to the total energy after. The amount that K changes is equal to the opposite sign, but the same amount that E changes, E internal. Okay, hope this is making sense.